So good day. This will be the continuation of our first lesson, getting to know the market. Again, we need to know or get to know our market for us to determine what will be their needs and wants. So again, for us to know the market or our target market, we need to conduct market research again when we say market research you will gather information about your target market so we can uh, we can be reminded by this acronym dil so double d i l so we can use this market research for us to develop the effective marketing strategy the second one is to decrease the cost of production the next one is to increase sales then the last one is to learn about your customers not only your customers but also our competitors so these are the benefits of market research so if you use this market research uh, methodology we can uh, conduct or we can gather information for our business so these are the market research methodologies these are some uh, methodologies that can use that you can use for your market research first one this is our topic last time the sales data mining then the next one uh, our topic for today is about focus group discussion observation technique and the survey research so again when we say sales data mining you will turn raw data into useful information so this is a uh, one type of quantitative research wherein you have to collect numerical data. So more on numbers, yung data mo. Then you will convert it into a graph or any graphic organizer. Again, the three commonly used graphs for sales data mining is the histogram, the frequency polygons, then the last one is pie chart. Diba, last time uh, nagbigay ako ng isang data of hot dog sales. Then, hinanap nyo yung uh, most uh, anong time, anong age yung pinaka uh, nagko-consume ng hot dog within that, um, within that um, data mining or sales data mining. Then, let's proceed to the second one second methodology the focus group discussion or fgd so kanina sa sales data mine quantitative ibig sabihin yung data mo more on numbers numerical data when we say focus group discussion it is qualitative or qualitative when you say qualitative you will gather non numerical data for an example opinion ideas and insights so an example of insights or any end product of this qualitative research tool is consumer and non-consumer experiences. So, ito yung mga magagather mong information more on experiences of your consumer and non-consumer. For an example, your competitors. And so, these are the uh the examples of focus group discussion insights for example yung mga tactics yung price tactics na ginagamit ng mga entrepreneur for an example the reduce the left digit by one kung mapapansin mo yung mga prices sa mall lagi na lang nag -e end sa nine so according dito sa fgd o yung mga insight na nakuha sa uh, from this methodology mas kino-consume ng mga customer yung mga products or services na ang price is uh, talaga nag end sa 9. Minsan nga yung 5. Ayan. Ngayon, kesa dun sa nag end sa 0, feeling nila mas nakatipid sila kesa dun sa nag end sa 0 na price. So, mas pinipili nila yung uh, talagang ang last digit is 9. So, another example nun, yun nga yung 5 yung dulo. Pwede rin yung all in 100 or uh, anything na talagang ginagamit nila as tactic for pricing. The next one is another tactic for price permission. When you say uh, FGD, 
it will help you to first one to know the preferences of your customers the second one you will know the uh, their impression for the for the old and new products in the market then kapag alam mo na yung impression nila within that product or service you can uh, make or you can serve a better one than uh, the than the market or than the existing one in the market then next one uh, another tactic ito nga katulad nito yung price uh, price impression or the price tactics another example nun is uh, ito nga mas pinipili ng mga customers yung mga less yung syllables yung 28.16 kesa do sa 27.82 eh di ba mas mababa naman yung pero parang mas marami syllables so choose numbers with fewer syllables Ayun yung lagi pinipili ng mga customers. Next one. Ayan. So, the, or the entrepreneur, they separate the shipping and handling fee. So, sa tingin ng mga customers, mas bumaba, pero ang totoo, talagang tinanggal lang o hiniwalay lang yung shipping fee. Then, the last tactic na ginagamit ng mga entrepreneur is uh, dividing the uh, the price into installments or offer payments in installments. So, di ba, meron tayong, uh, dito sa example, the original price is $499. Then, ang um, ginawa, it is divided into five payments, naging 99 So, kala ng mga customers, mas napamura o parang mas magaan, pero same price pa rin naman. So, another example, katulad nga ng binigay ng uh, ng class rates mo. Kanina, another example, yung save up to, o kaya yung pinagsasama yung mga product, nakala mo nakasale, pero original price pa rin naman. Ayan. So, ayun yung mga example ng price impression. The next one, sa so focus group discussion or FGD, it is just like an interview by a facilitator of a small group of people. So, para siyang uh, isang small group wherein there is a facilitator. So, it lasts as uh, it lasts um, one hour and uh, one and a half hour. Two, three hours. Ganun katagal yung isang FGD or focus group discussion. So, all you need to do before you start your interview, you should have clear objectives. What will be your topic? What will be your agenda? What will be your questions for your participants? Next naman, this will be the preparation uh, to be made for FGD before conducting FGD. The first one is the respondent selection, wherein you will uh, gather or you will choose participants that has the knowledge that has the knowledge of your or for your chosen topic. So, dapat talagang may alam sila do sa topic na napili mo. Then, the next one, the sample size, the suggested number of participants for FGD is 6 to 8. Kapag less than 6, uh, wala na daw, hindi na daw good discussion yan. Kapag more than 8 naman, masyado nang crowded. So, the suggested sample size for FGD is 6 to 8. Then next, in data gathering, you need to prepare for your venue, the place of your, uh, the place where you will conduct your FGD and the equipment, the materials, for an example, materials or equipment for recording, like um, camera or notebook for uh, the information that you need to jot down Ayan. So, you need to prepare for that. The next one is the discussion agenda. What will be your topic? What will be your question for uh, for your participants? Then, letter C, skilled facilitator. So, you need to have a skilled facilitator because diba, you will gather different opinions, insights from your participants. Hindi mga numbers yung makokollect mong data. Ang makokollect mo ay mga opinions, iba't ibang insights from your participants. So, you need to have skilled facil uh, facilitator for, uh, for balancing and gathering or recording the, the important uh, important ideas. So, kailangan talaga skilled yung facilitator mo. 
para talagang makukuha niya lahat ng insight at walang masasayang na answers. Then next one, the last one is data analysis wherein uh, you will write uh, you will write the recommendation and the report or the uh, gathered data within your interview. Then you will have the compare and contrast of the insights and answers of your participants within your FGD or focus group discussion. The next Next methodology is observation techniques. When we say observation techniques, it is one of the best way to gather data. So it is qualitative market research wherein hindi ka naman makakakollect ng numbers dito. Hindi numerical data ang kailangan mong makuha dito. More on uh, observe, uh, expression, more on behavior of your customers. So uh, observation techniques, you need to observe the, beh uh, the behavior of your customers without having to interact to talk to them. So, dapat hindi nila halata na nag observe ka. Then, uh, we have two types of observation. First one, the human observation wherein you just need to jot down the behavior, the behavior of your customers. Uh, behavior of your customers then the next one is the mechanical observation wherein you will just record your observation using an equipment for an example video uh, video recording so that will be the meaning or the insight for observation techniques so these are the advantages of using this technique or observation technique first one you can see customers actually or what uh, what your customers actually do in the natural setting. So, di ba, in front, face-to-face, -face, makikita mo na yung data, magagather mo na yung data again. Then, the second one, it is not subject to customers' unwillingness to reply to certain questionnaire. Di ba, minsan, tinatanggihan tayo kapag nagkakandak tayo ng survey. Pero sa observation technique, malalesen yung pag- uh, yung pag-reject or yung mismo unwillingness to reply uh, within your customers to participate with your um, conduct or with your market research. Dahil nga, di ba, hindi nila alam na ino-observe ba sila, hindi sila tatanggi. Then, the third one is the information are gathered quickly. So, mabilis lang. It requires um, shortened time to observe a certain behavior. So, mabilis mong mag-gather agad yung data. So, these are the, this ad, or the disadvantages of observation technique. The first one, you cannot get the reasons behind the behavior. So, hindi natin malalaman bakit niya ginagawa yung behavior na yun. For an example, sa isang grocery. Ayan. So, according sa mga observation uh, data, or gathered information, the most visited section within the grocery is the canned goods section. Lagi na lang nauubos agad daw yung mga products na nakalagay doon. Pero nakita rin nila, na-observe din nila na the most, uh, the most product na lagi natitira within the customer's cart is the canned goods. Ibig sabihin, lagi naiiwan ng mga customers o laging iniiwan ng customers sa mga cart nila ay yung mga canned goods. So, hindi natin alam, we cannot get the reasons behind the behavior. Bakit nila ginagawa yun? So, isa yun sa mga disadvantages. Dahil nga, di ba, hindi natin sila pwedeng tanungin, hindi natin sila, uh, hindi tayo pwedeng makipag-interact. Kasi nga, di ba, observation lang. You just need to observe their behavior. Then, the next one is you can only focus on here and now. Ibig sabihin, short and time lang, di ba, ang observation technique. Kapag ginawa na nung mismong customer yung behavior, di ba naman pwede sabihin, ulitin nyo po yung behavior na yon, Di ba? It requires short and time. So, you can record the past and future behavior of your customer. Kung ano lang yung uh, on time o yung present na behavior nila, yun lang yung marerecord mo. Then the third one is unethical. Unethical because the respondents are not agreed with your observation. 
di ba, hindi naman sila na-inform na nag observe ka na pala for your market research. So, unethical yung observation technique. Then, the last one is the survey research. When we say survey research, it is the most preferred instrument for in-depth quantitative research. So, when we say quantitative, you will collect, you will analyze numerical data. So, you can ask variety of questions. Uh, for an example, it is about personal information, motivation, and behavior of your customer. So, you can conduct this survey research by having a uh, by having this research by telephone or personal or face-to-face -face interview and mail interview it can be printed or by email so the most uh, most frequently used survey research or type of research or survey research is UAI the usage, attitude, and map, and image, it is used by the entrepreneur, wherein they can conduct information about the product usage and preferences of their customers, the customer interest, and the customer image. So, ito yung laging ginagamit ng mga entrepreneur. So, in planning a survey, these are the preparation to be made. The first one is sampling technique. So, you need to uh, you need to choose what method you will use to uh, to choose your participants. So, first one is probability sampling, wherein you will choose your participants randomly. For an example nito is lottery method, yung bumubunat tayo in a certain uh, number or sample, sample size. Then, next one is the non-probability sampling. So, it is used for the difficult to estimate uh, estimate uh, number of participants. For an example, yung mga participant mo, meron sa Luzon, meron sa Visayas, meron din sa, Bin sa Mindanao. Siyempre, layo-layo yun. Hindi mo naman kaya i-gather yung information lahat ng mga participants o ng mga tao doon as your customer or participant of your survey. So, ang gagawin mo, for an example, yung quota. Di ba, quota something. Siguro, tag ten lang. Ayan, tag ten lang bawat uh, bawat lugar, pwede yon. So, meron kang kota. It is used for the difficult to estimate uh, sample size. Then, the second one is the getting the sample size. Ilan ba yung kailangan mo? Uh, kailangan mong participant. So, kailangan mong i-determine kung ilan yon. Then, the last one is the designing the questionnaire. It is the most sensitive uh, part of planning a survey because uh, you need to be sensitive wherein, for an example, di ba kapag magsasurvey tayo, hindi na pwedeng ilagay mo sa kapag tatanungin mo yung gender or uh, hindi mo na pwedeng ilagay yung boy or girl. Kailangan ang ilagay mo na ay male or female dahil merong ibang bansa na hindi lang naman boy at girl. Di ba? Meron ng LGBT community. Meron na rin sila noon. So, kailangan talaga maging mas sensitive ba tayo to our uh, questionnaire, yung laman or content of your questionnaire. So again, these are the market research methodologies, sales data mining, focus group discussion, observation technique, and survey research. So for your activity, second activity, it is called as infomercial vlog or vlog. So for your Written activity, you will pick any one market research methodology. Pili ka lang sa sales data, uh, data mining, focus group discussion, observation technique, or survey research. Then, you will make a one-minute video discussing the steps on how to conduct it. Pwede mo na i-discuss mo the meaning of that methodology, then the disadvantage and advantages of that methodology. Pwede yon. Uh, as long as makapag-inform ka, makapagbigay ka ng information about that market research methodology. So, all you need to do is to make one-minute video. Minimum lang yan, yung one minute. So, pwede pa naman mag-exceed sa number of minutes. Discussing these market research methodologies. So, this will be our criteria for the content 
if you discuss, uh, if you discuss, or in your video or in your blog, again, first one, you need to prepare a written content of your blog. So that will be your blog. So again, you need to make a written activity or written content of your blog. It is called as blog, wherein uh, you will write those information that you will include within your blog. So, lahat ng isasama mo within that video or vlog, ilagay mo na dun sa mismong blog. So, written content mo na ang ipapasa mo until next Tuesday. Again, until next Tuesday. Yung vlog naman or yung video, di ba nakapaggawa ka na ng content mo, ang gagawin mo, uh, gagawin mo yon into a video. So, magiging vlog na. So, yung vlog until last week of January. So, again, for the content, kapag yung content of your infomercial is about market research methodology, then one minute video talaga. So, 30 points yun again. Then, next one, creativity or concept. Kapag talaga ikaw yung gumawa nun, hindi naman kailangan na i-edit mo pa. So, kailangan lang talagang kakaiba yung, uh, kakaiba yung concept. Um, then, uh, that will be 10 points. The next one is speech. Dapat clear yung information na sasabihin mo within that video. 10 points. Then, the last one, oh, may nagtanong kanina kung pwede ba Tagalog or English. Oh, sige, papayagan ko kayo kahit alin man doon as long as ang content is market research methodology. Then, the last one is the time of submission. On time ba? Kung on time, 5 points yon In total is 55 points. So, if you have any question regarding to our activity, you may send a message to our or to my messenger account. So, thank you. That will be the end of our discussion for today.